Hey everyone, not sure if you've noticed, but there's been a few changes on Instagram over the last week. So on the desktop, I've just opened it up and discovered that I can actually post directly from inside my Instagram account to my wall. So I'm gonna show you, share my screen and let's go through it together. So here we are inside my Instagram account. So here is my profile. So this is me. And as you can see, up here, let me just grab my little annotation so you can actually see it with me, is a little plus button, which was not there before. So what does that plus button do? So let's give it a little click and let's check it out. So click this button, create a post. So drag photos and videos here. So let's click one, select from computer. So I'm gonna grab one from my computer. So let me just grab this one here and click open. And it's going to allow me to put a picture in. So I'm gonna click next. It's also got some filters, which is quite nice. So if I want to make it a little bit different, I can. If I want to make any adjustments to the color, I can increase the brightness. I can increase the contrast. I can do the saturations, the temperature, the fade and the vinaigrette. So if I'm okay with everything, I just click next. Now I can write my caption. So first of all, you can click photo to tag people. So if I wanted to tag anybody, I could do that. So let me just do a friend here, I can just tag her. So I'll just tag Claudia. I can write my caption. So here is a caption about my digital dots. Um, learn how to create three magical workflows to help you sell and attract clients online. Okay, just for this purpose, you can also add your hashtags. Now look, you can see here, it gives you up to 2,200 words or characters, sorry, to add in. You want to add some emojis, you can do that. So we can do that if we want to, we can just add emojis in and it will add those in for you, although it looks as if it's not doing that that well. You can add your location, accessibility, so click that. So if you want to do an alt tag, you can. So I'm gonna do infographic, magical flows. Advanced settings here, turn off commenting. So if you didn't want commenting on your, on your post, you can turn it off. And then here you can add your hashtags. So I'm just gonna go and grab a couple of hashtags from my notes, because that's where I keep my hashtags. So that's a good tip for you to think about. If you've got some hashtags that you always use, then it's always good to keep them in your notes because then you can go ahead and grab some of those so that it makes it easier for you to actually post them onto your account. So let me just grab a few of those like so and then I'm going to just paste them in first of all my first hashtag is in relation to my post which is an infographic and it's also a lead funnel okay and then I'm going to just paste the other ones in here tidy them up a little bit like so okay and then all you have to do is click share. So I'm gonna click share and it's gonna share my post directly to my Instagram account from within my Instagram account on the desktop. So it says post has been shared. So let me close that down, refresh my page. And there's my post that I posted from inside my Instagram account on the desktop. So just a quick overview, the desktop allows you to create a photo or a video. So you can do a photo or a video inside of your Instagram account from your desktop. Perfect. So that was just a super quick Instagram update that I know so many of you will probably really appreciate. Now, why will you really appreciate this Instagram update that they've put in to your desktop? Well, number one, there's no more having to transfer photos or videos that you've created on your desktop to your mobile phone because you can now upload them directly into Instagram from your desktop. So my name's Anita Wong. I help you connect the digital dots to create magical workflows, which will in line help you to attract your dream clients and sell to them online. Have any questions about using Instagram? Drop them below this video. If you've enjoyed this quick update, give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there will be more Instagram updates, including in the next video about the new video tab inside of your Instagram. See you soon. Bye for now.